Hello, Gunner James 105. What to do when you're collecting military items and there are certain things you can't have. You can't you can't own because the law says you can't or you can have them but they're very expensive and uh, so out of reach price wise you then perhaps would consider replicas or deactivated and so even then when it comes to in particular and I've got some items laid out in my other room my little hobby room now um, the German items now I'm in Canada and uh, I think there are perhaps uh, better markets over in Europe a little easier to get some of this stuff uh, a little less money perhaps but there are items that beyond my financial uh, means so replicas I don't have a problem with that when I when I'm looking for things to display uh, in this room here I've, I've showed you uh, in an older video uh, around the room but I've uh, been adding stuff uh, since then and um, so when you when you have um, German items STG 44 perhaps I can buy one it's deactivated but if I can afford $4,000 or 3500 let's say uh, well then I can have one it uh, is non-functioning I can also do the same perhaps with an MP40 but there again I'm looking at about the same kind of dollars so German helmet an original German helmet M35, M40, M42, they're, they're 1,000, 1,200, 1,500, uh, way more money than I, than I can spend, the, um, an officer's cap, for example. And so I, uh, I'm making this video because I wanted to show some of the things I have collected in the way of uh, replicas or functioning replicas in the way of a firearm. So the laws in Canada, for example, I can afford, I can probably uh, afford a Luger, but I can't own a functioning Luger. The law says that the barrel has to be, for my license, um, it allows me to have a handgun that has a barrel that's, I think it's 4.2 or 4.25. So I can have that. So I can have a Walther P38. If you put that beside a Luger, which fires a 9mm, same, same bullet, you, you put the two handguns together, they're pretty much the same size handgun. But the Luger barrel is 4 inches. I can have an artillery Luger from World War I or whatever, the, the long barrel, that, that's okay, but those are many thousands of dollars. So uh, the only way around this is, uh, for example, a Luger, I can have one. A World War II Luger, all matching numbers, 100%, beautiful. Uh, could be um, one of the fine, finest examples you see. Uh, the one method is to have the barrel removed and a legal length barrel put on it. And the old barrel then has to be destroyed. So that's, that's part of your uh, matching numbers, matching uh, handgun is uh, forever destroyed. But in that case, I could have one, but it's, you know, you've got the price of the Luger and then another $300 or more to have that barrel replaced. And so it is still possible, but still expensive. And so the difficulty with, uh, I mean, I have no difficulty finding uh, British and Canadian. I can find, uh, well, what else have I got around here? Um, American, you know, American things. With my license, uh, I can buy, uh, you know, any any handgun basically that that is having that barrel length, uh, legal barrel length, and I can have uh, rifles, uh, any bolt action rifle, pretty much. I can even have an AR-15, any caliber, because I have the restricted license as well. But I cannot have an FN C1A1. The same rifle I used when I was in the uh, artillery reserve. I cannot own one of those. They're classed as prohibited. 
so I can have one deactivated. They're hard to find and they're expensive. <laughs> so we're back to that again. So I do have some things I was going to show you in this other room and uh, just kind of uh, give you some close-ups or whatever on that and see what you think. So hang tight. So here we are. And uh, as I was mentioning, the uh, MP40, STG44. Start off with this one here. So this one is a uh, BB gun. It's made by Umarex or Umarex. And uh, it's what they call the weathered version. So these here, really not that expensive. But they've got this, this look to them that uh, resembles the real thing. And that uh, stock, push that button there, that stock will flip out like the real thing. Everything works that way, the real way. Uh, the uh, magazine comes out with that magazine release. The bolt will recipro reciprocate when you fire this. And then this can be fired in uh, semi-automatic or full automatic. So I have, this is the only fully automatic firearm I have. Yes, it's BB, but uh, still a lot of fun, actually. It'll hold uh, just over 50 BBs, and so you can uh, shoot this fairly accurately, actually. And so you see here that it's uh, partially loaded anyways, and it uses two CO2 cartridges in the magazine. So everything's uh, pretty much self-contained there. But yeah, as far as a display item, it's pretty nice. Little sight will flip up and down. It, uh, it doesn't have the bolt come all the way back. It only goes to here. And it, so it has a bit of a, a, a blowback little add a little realism there so that that's an option like I say for replacement for the real thing and you see that weathered look it just other than the uh, what would be Bakelite on this or a plastic it, it's not really marred up or anything one could I suppose work on it a little bit same with the magazine you know uh, but the rest of it pretty nice um, I can't can't afford the the real deal but this will do you know you got that sitting in the room uh, functions as a nice display piece that's fine this uh, was a fairly recent part of the collection and that's real wood you can see videos on these. I mean, you can. This is a. This actually fires 22 long rifle. So you can you can check this out on on. There's a lot of videos on that rifle. But yeah, it's all metal. Um, the uh, the thing is built, and I forgot to mention. But I mean, the way this is built, it's the same size. It's got pretty much the same stampings, the same uh, as a real. STG 44 and it comes apart pretty much the same way They did make A little different uh, sight get that light right where you have an adjustment for windage But yeah, I'm not going to get into all the Functions and features and all the rest of it other than uh, you know you, you pull that pin out the same as you would on a regular one uh, This will pivot down the same as the real thing and so, pretty cool. Haven't fired that one yet. Had to, uh, it didn't come with a sling. Had to order that separate. Whereas this one did. But the, uh, the size is one thing. So it matches pretty much identical to the, the real deal. And the weight is within 
half a pound or so of the real thing. So you get the you get quite a nice display item. And uh, just moving down here, as I say, this is a replica. It's a very nice replica. It uh, looks like so, but you know, it's made in Bangladesh, but it's uh, it's a real nice display piece. Made to look very, very similar. The same materials, you know, the wool and all that. As the, uh, I think it's a later Wehrmacht officer's cap. And then uh, this is the M35. And this one here, I had bought the, uh, the didn't come with decals, so I got some decals for it. And it uh, hopefully will not fall off the stand as I pivot it around. But, but yeah, it's a it's a very nice, nicely done one. It's not a, a cheap version. I know there are some that are, but this one is supposed to be pretty much the same uh, thickness, metal-wise, and uh, everything is done pretty much. Oop. You see that little stand there? That's a dollar store towel rack with a hockey puck screwed to the top of it. Works pretty good. So my investment uh, probably be three dollars and fifty cents. I got quite a few of these. But yeah, the uh, the liner, the markings on the helmet. Oops. Even the. Uh, Upside down. Oh, yeah. So even the uh, chin strap. I have to turn this over and see if I scratch paint off. Be sad. No, we're okay. So put that back on there. This would be. So this is your uh, Luftwaffe dagger. There are um, better examples. This isn't really meant to be a replica as much as. Uh, I mean, it's more of a letter opener. In the same style there are better examples I mean the blade certainly is not uh, a, nice, uh, a little bit loose there but uh, yeah the blade is nowhere near what a the real thing would have had on it so it's a it's an ornament but again you got that sitting on the shelf it's it's a, it's a stand-in this is the uh, Walter PPK, and I cannot have one of those as well. Barrels too short, and the caliber is uh, prohibited. But that's a BB firing uh, pistol with uh, CO2. And uh, just here now, when I talk about this Luger, this one is a BB gun, or yeah, BB gun. But it's it's look. Feel, size, whatever, very close to the real thing. But I had done some alterations on this one. The grips were black. So I changed that. And then I did give it that weathered look because it was, it was just a little too shiny and perfect and whatever. So with a, uh, what they call a magic eraser and some water, I've seen that trick on a YouTube video made some uh, holster wear marks maybe it needs a little more I don't know but yeah so this thing shoots shoots BBs and uh, nice little replacement for the real deal and so here then an officer's belt and this one's done very well I mean it's a uh, good quality as far as I'm concerned this is a holster for the Walther P38. And uh, it happens to have a magazine in it. But the, uh, the look and function is all there. So, we, have, you know, it's certainly Spartan. It's, it doesn't replicate perhaps something that's many, many years old, but if it's if it's all you can afford or whatever then uh, I guess you can have nothing or you can have you can have this 
And then lastly, uh, this P38. So this one here, it's got some, uh, well, maybe I'll hold it up here, but it's got some pretty good markings on it. And that's because this is the real deal. This is not a uh, replica. This is uh, all matching serial number in absolutely beautiful condition. So this was the BYF or Mauser factory from 1943. So I haven't, I haven't done a video on this one. I'll do uh, a video on this one. Maybe do it a little more or better justice as far as uh, what I think of it and, and give some better footage on it but yeah that's, so that's the real deal and that real deal can then now be you know so now I've, I've got a holster for it you know and I've got a belt so in this case you have the real thing coupled with the next best thing to the real thing and so so far this is the uh, bit of German replica and uh, in some cases as in these uh, you know, the, the, all, all the uh, replica guns will shoot something. The BB or 22, so. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.